I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, if you watched the show last year, you may have caught me and the family taking out Michelle's mom, Barbara, on a turkey hunt. She had had a stroke two years ago, and it really set her back and confined her to a wheelchair. But Barbara loves turkey hunting. She's an experienced turkey hunter and has gone out and harvested birds by herself and with her husband and with her daughter. So she is a hardcore turkey hunter. A couple years ago, before her stroke, she made a double with her grandson, Trent, as well. But even though she's confined to a wheelchair, she did not want to miss out on turkey hunting last year. So last year I took her out. We had her rigged up with a Remington 870 and 410. We put a loophole Delta Point Pro red dot sight on there and we had her rigged up. But unfortunately, as hard as I tried, I could not get Barbara a turkey in range. This last spring, Barbara's now 90 and she has not forgotten about turkey hunting. And she looked at me and said, Fred, you know I'm going turkey hunting this spring, right? You're gonna take me out. I said, of course we're gonna take you out. So that's exactly what we did. Isn't that your name? Barbara One Shot Masakia. That's the way I was taught. That's right, that's all you need, one shot. Barbara was super excited, and even though the stroke robbed her of some of the mobility she used to have, she was pretty excited to be back out in the blind turkey hunting. I'm good at conjuring, so you I see turkey all over the place. I see them up in the tree. Well, she had us laughing in the blind as me and Michelle sat in there and crossed our fingers since we didn't get her one the year before. I started calling softly and some birds showed up. Well, guy Tim and son Trent, Barbara's grandson, we're watching the whole hunt go down from a muddy pop-up blind across the field. As this bird closes in range, I am losing my mind. Barbara's excited, Michelle's excited. I've got Barbara set up with the same 410 that we had set up. The Trinidad gunsmithing school even rigged up and put a pick rail on there so we could mount that loophole the red dot. There was a lot of people involved in helping this hunt go down. Barbara's in there, the Remington's on a death grip tripod. This bird comes into range, and by into range, I'm gonna say 40, 45 yards with a 410. She's on it, we're like, Barbara, go ahead and take the shot. She cuts loose, first turkey she shot in three or four years, drops. Pull the trigger, Barbara. Pull. She got him. She got him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you just shot a turkey. Barbara, you got him. You got him. He's right there. Uh, is he down? Yes. He's down right here, Mom. <laughs> you just shot a turkey, Mom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we lose our minds. Hard to say who is more excited. Barbara, me, Michelle, Trent, Tim, her nurse, Jeb, Seth, anybody involved was absolutely ecstatic that Barbara had just gotten her bird. 90 years old, right? You had a stroke, but you're still out here doing it, Mom, aren't you? Uh -huh. You just sit out here and you get my son-in-law and my daughter to help you, and there you go. There's proof kind of it. <laughs> If I miss that bird, I've shot myself. <laughs> Barbara has always had a great sense of humor and had us cracking up from when she got in the blind to when she left the blind. Ooh, that's a redneck fragrance candle. <sighs> I'm a redneck now? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it smells like. <laughs> I'm a redneck now. There you go. Well, for a hardcore turkey hunter, all of us can relate. The hardest thing is not being able to turkey hunt anymore. So it meant a ton to us that we were able to get Barbara back out in the field doing what she absolutely loves to do. And big, huge bonus, she got a turkey. Didn't do it for the year before, but we did it this year at 90 years old. Congrats, Barbara. We're super proud of you. What's well, pretty impressive too, really, that's a 410. Remington 870, 410. That's the same gun I shot my turkey with. That's the same one. So your daughter, I took your daughter out horseback 
and she shot one with the same gun, but we set it up on the bog death grip. You're watching everything I do. I am choked up right now. So is Michelle. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? It was so awesome. I love you. I love you. You did amazing. She was super excited with her turkey, and so was everyone. It was absolutely beautiful to see. Nana, good job. Hi. I love you. <laughs> Ready? One, Three, two, two three. Trent. Go to here. Oh, God, look at that bird. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Man, that 410 put it on him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, it put it on him. Look there, look at that. Hey! He's stone cold dead. <laughs> He's stone cold dead. Pretty awesome. We had to bring her over here straight to her turkey. And now a wonderful lady, Sarah, the nurse that's, that's helping uh, Michelle take care of Barbara, yeah. is going to come over with a handicap van and we're gonna get her loaded back up, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be eating turkey tonight. She's been asking for you all morning. I was sleeping and I shotgun. woke up and I said, I wonder if she got a turkey and you did. I'm yes. so proud of you. I Thank told you. you I was gonna get one. I know. Thank you for a most memorable day. Thank you for a most memorable day. It was incredible. I've guided quite a few people, but Barbara, you got the win on the BN90. That's pretty awesome. Will you keep, stop keep telling the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm my 55 year old mother-in-law. That's right. Look, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> After it was all said and done, Barbara said with a very straight face, she said, you know what? I think I want to go snow skiing. That's what I'm going to do next. I want you guys to take me snow skiing. What do you want to learn now? Skiing. You want to learn skiing? Snow skiing or water skiing? No, uh, snow skiing. All right. Snow skiing next. I love it, Barbara. Hey, stay tuned next week for when we take Barbara out to do a little snow skiing.